This 18 game winning streak led to one of the most obvious inventions of all time. You see, throughout the early 1900s, you basically never saw a hockey player wearing a helmet, not even a goalie. That was until November 1st, 1959, when Montreal Canadiens goaltender Jacques Plante cut his face open after blocking a shot. Plante refused to go back into the game unless he was wearing a mask, which he wore regularly in practice. But his coach declined, fearing it would prevent Plante from seeing low shots. There was also obvious criticism from players and other goalies for Plante's desire to protect his face, with fellow goalie Gump Worsley saying that, quote, anyone who wears a mask is a chicken. My face is my mask. Now, at the time, Plante's mask was custom made by a man who worked at a Montreal-based fiberglass company, and this style of mask quickly became the norm for all goalies in the NHL. And by 1974, every goalie in the league wore a mask, even Gump Worsley. But a major issue with these fiberglass style of masks was that it lacked eye protection. So in 1978, two men invented a fiberglass mask with a cage over the eyes and the nose. But this mask didn't become popularized until 1985, when another Canadian's goalie, Patrick Roy, started wearing one. Hockey players are really so tough that they'll bleed from their face before 